Introducing the Jive, Drew Lachey and his partner Cheryl Burke. First time they performed the jive, Drew and Cheryl earned a score of 27. What about the new routine, Carrie Ann? Woo! Well, okay. You two have been the most exciting performers for me to watch from day one. And once again, you brought forth an exciting routine. What you do is you take risks, you go for it, you go beyond what we expect from you every time. And I totally appreciate it. You really did a great job. You are really the dynamo in this competition. You put so much energy and power in what you do. You could light up Los Angeles. You never <laughs> fail to deliver. You are so reliable, Drew. Well done. Thank you. And yeah, well, from, from week one, you've come out onto this floor like Wyatt Earp at the OK Corral, blazing <laughs> away. You have been a joy to watch. You dance with such enthusiasm, Drew. And may I just take this opportunity of saying, not only to you, but to all the professionals, what a great job they've done. Bravo. Absolutely. So far tonight, we have been celebrating three finalists. Soon, there will be only two. Our third place couple is about to leave the competition. Drew and Cheryl need 27 to come in first with the judges. We'll find out their scores next, live. <laughs> Welcome back to Dancing with the Stars, the grand finale. Before the break, Drew and Cheryl dance for the very last time in this competition. Let's get our final scores of this season. The judges have their scores. Carrie Ann Inaba. Nine. Len Goodman. Nine. Bruno Tonioli. Nine. All right, 27 out of 30. It's an amazing score. I think what we forget in this competition with so many 30s is that three nines is an incredible score. And you already, Thursday night, made Dancing with the Stars history because I know the audience is still going uh, insane out there, but Thursday night you made Dancing with the Stars history because you got two 30s in one night. No one has ever, ever done that. So do you feel that this trophy is rightfully yours? Uh, no more than anybody else's. Uh, I think we've all done a lot of work, put in a lot of heart, a lot of time and effort to make this happen. Um, would we love to go home with it? Absolutely. But would I be heartbroken to see Jerry or Stacy go home with it? Not at all. Because they both put blood, sweat and tears into it as well. Uh, what would it mean to you to win this thing? Um, for me to win it would just be kind of 
you know, I, I set this goal in the very beginning. I said I wasn't going to be happy unless I won it. So it's just the accomplishing accomplishment of a goal. Um, and ultimately, it's it's just as much for Cheryl as well because in, in her world and, and everything, this is, I mean, Dance with the Stars is a huge platform for ballroom dancers. So um, while they're dancing down to our levels, it's still a great accomplishment for my partner to win it as well. It is absolutely, Cheryl, and you deserve it just as much as everyone else does here. All right, well, that's 27 out of 30 for this dance. That gives them an overall total with the judges of 87 out of 90 for Drew and Cheryl. Now, the judges' scores make up half of their final total score. The other half is made up by you. And, of course, if Drew and Cheryl are your champions, we'll find out soon when we reveal the winner.